Well, neurosurgery is one of the most exciting subjects in modern medicine. It combines the understanding of the human central nervous system and the most sophisticated operations that exist. The mere fact that you can go into a human brain, cut out, do what you need, and the person wakes up a few hours later and behaves normally is an enormous source of satisfaction for all of us. The real know-how is to know when, in which patient, when not to do an unnecessary operation, how to intervene, and how to do it in the most safe and effective manner. When you deal with neurosurgery in children, what we call pediatric neurosurgery, the tension is enormous. A child, a brain, the parents that worry terribly about what will happen to their child, and the decision-making that will affect the child throughout his life. In pediatric neurosurgery, we deal with several sub-areas. The first is the treatment of pediatric brain tumors. We will relate to this later. The second is to deal with congenital abnormalities of the brain and the spinal cord. The treatment of pediatric neurosurgery has been the center of my life in the last 25 years. It began when I specialized in New York together with Professor Fred Epstein, and it continued throughout my career at Hadassah in Jerusalem and in Tel Aviv. Pediatric brain tumors are the most common solid tumors in children. They can be benign or low grade, and they can be more malignant or high grade. Today, we can cure or at least control most of the low-grade tumors and cure or at least control about 50% of the high-grade or malignant tumors. This treatment is a combination of surgery and occasionally oncological therapy. The decision-making before the surgery during the surgery and after the surgery is crucial and has to be individualized. The know-how is not only on the technical aspects of the surgery, but how to use your team, how to use your intensivists, your neurologist, your radiologist, in order to optimize the treatment on an individual child. This has been the focus of my life multidisciplinary treatment of pediatric brain tumors. I've been specializing um, in all brain tumors, but especially those that are in the brainstem and the spinal cord. In these tumors, a very delicate technical maneuver is required in order to reduce the insult, the morbidity to the child, the decision-making of where to open, how to open, and when to stop the operation is crucial in order to prevent injury to the child. These surgeries are done with a lot of technical support, not only the most sophisticated machinery in the world, a microscope, the ultrasonic aspirator, occasionally lasers, and intraoperative monitoring that improves to reduce morbidity, but also a team of anesthesiologists and intensivists that help you during the surgery and after the surgery. In the last 20 years, I have been heavily involved with the treatment of hydrocephalus <clears throat> and endoscopic procedures inside the brain. Being 
the president of the International Federation of Neuroendoscopy uh, and the leader of one of the most intensive groups in the world in putting fiber optic technology into treating brain anomalies. Hydrocephalus is defined as the accumulation of excess fluid inside the brain. This fluid raises the pressure in the brain and threatens to interfere with the developing brain. There are several methods to treat hydrocephalus, mostly by diverting the fluid to another cavity or by opening obstacles inside the brain using fiber optic technology. Another portion of congenital malformation in children and especially in infants is called craniosynostosis. Craniosynostosis is premature closure of the skull sutures that leads to deformities in the skull. We are treating those deformities by surgeries that correct the deformity and bring the skull to a more normal shape. These operations are on the border between neurosurgery and plastic surgery and are done with a team to reduce the morbidity and fix the skull at a very early stage. This is again a subspecialty that requires pediatric anesthesiologists to reduce potential blood loss involvement and intensivists and are done in large amounts in my center. My team and myself also specialize in the treatment of spinal cord tumors, where the tumors that press on the spinal cord from the outside, they are called extramedullary tumors, and tumors that grow inside the spinal cord, they are called intramedullary spinal cord tumors. We are doing these operations with the aid of technological adjuncts, such as a microscope, the CUSA, and intraoperative evoked potentials. These operations are very delicate and are done on a slow pace. We take our time in order to reduce potential damage to the spinal cord. The HMC, the Herzliya Medical Center, offers an ideal milieu to treat children within the arena of pediatric neurosurgery and general neurosurgery as well. It is a beautiful hospital with support systems in intensive care, the best treatment in the operating room, and the best team that we can recruit to treat an individual patient. This team is being recruited for a specific patient with a specific disease to give the best answers to lead to cure. <music>